Hello, Rajiv. Did you make some mistake today in for today's session? There is something uh, wrong with spelling of gate. It should be G E T, no? No, there is uh, no any mistake in that. Uh, I am intentionally done the flight. So let's get started with the motor. Today is our topic. Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome to all. Uh, today our topic is let's get started with motors. So this is the opportunity uh, by the Givignana Ashram and Samagri Siksha Abhinayam and UNICEF and Government of AP and AP Diksha uh, for me. So let's start the topic. Okay. Can you give us the name of the gym equipment? So gym equipment name you are going to Ah, okay, now, how the weight is lifted by the pulling the rod downwards? So, so this equipment is uh, used for this in the uh, used to make the lattice in the gym. So here the uh, rod is indicates to uh, where uh, rod helps you. So uh, pull the weights in the lift. So we applied the force downwards. It actually lifting the weight upwards. Okay. Now now. How the pulley changes the its direction of the force. So when we apply the force on the pulley, uh, the uh, the pulley goes to the upwards while we while we, uh, while we put it down in the downwards. The weight will be go to the up, and again we uh, raise the hands to the upwards. The pulley uh, weight will goes to the downwards. Even if we manam pulleys ni gatiga lagi vadulta mo weights a even Pike will town tie a prete manum, Vodile Samo, wait, wait, fine inch can the key as it is the Ochas town tie. So, in the gym equipment, Manam Sadan and the gym slow manum, observe just town tamo. Next, did you face any difficulty with, with, you, with your gate? Yes. Do you, do you face any difficulty? Yes. Yesterday, I faced a difficulty with gate. So, I want to do this project. So gate is the uh, inspiration for uh, inspiration to me to the to do this project. Okay. So uh, yesterday I uh, came the came to my house via car. Okay. Uh, while while I coming down the car and uh, move the gate by, by with the help of hands. Now I am going to take the car 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 on the parking area. Now I now I am going to close the door again. Uh, but noise is occur uh, while. Uh, closing the door and it is very heavily to move down the backwards and frontwards also. So, chala kasanga ani vichhi me na ko pass ke isna puru door ni move move itani ki leda teravatani ki chala kasanga ani vichhi ni. So, amdhani ni niyaka project ni tar che dumbo sao. Y door concept ni use che sunna no. Okay. Next, how the DC motor is work? Ni no yevan kunna na te door ni. So, this force is the force of 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 the how the DC motor will work? DC motor will work in on the principle of Lorentz law. Okay, everyone knows what is Lorentz law. Whenever a current carrying conductor placed in the magnetic field, it cuts the magnetic field and experiences a force. That force is called as Lorentz force. If we have current carrying conductor, two magnetic poles from a zero place, say, our current carrying conductor M just it rotates and cuts the plus and experiences the force. That force is called as Lorentz force. Okay. So the Lorentz force is direction uh, is depending upon the current flowing uh, current flowing through the conductor while the while we uh, while we giving the electricity to the current carrying conductor, it, it will move to the direction. Okay. So while we using the Fleming, everyone knows the Fleming's right hand rule. Okay. Now we use the Fleming's right hand rule. The thumb finger shows the current direction of the current and uh, index finger shows the magnetic field and uh, uh, middle finger shows the force of the uh, conduct, uh, conductor establishing by, by the by this experiment. Okay. 
so due to the lorentz force the motor will rotate okay so now we now we see the how the rotation motion is converted into the linear motion yes manam linear motion ni direct ga rotator motion dwara convert cheyagalugutama yes cheyagalugutam daily manam cycles are coat of meda travel chestam untam avuna kada yes so a travel chese tappudu wheels anevi rotate avutam untai manam ye vidhanga ite veltam untamo aa direction e linear motion anamata so here manam em chestunamo rotatory motion ni linear motion kinda convert chesi manam mana yokka journey ni continuation chestunam avuna yes here some are the examples of the rotatory motion and linear motions are there here the 3d printer uh, conveyor belt and uh, car jack and uh, this is the pulley uh, related with the gear so these are the examples for uh, rotational motion is converted to the linear motion okay next what is the mechanism of the motor uh, here okay whenever the power supply is given to the motor it is positive and negative that means uh, whenever the power supply is giving clockwise the motor will rotate clockwise okay but when we supply polarity the supply or polarity changes the motor will rotate anti clockwise what will happen here do you remember the lorentz law yes when the when we apply in the lorentz law before it we has already seen the uh, before slide what is that so whenever the current carrying conductor in place in the magnetic field when we apply the lorentz law for the when we apply the lorentz law the force direction will be calculated by using the fleming's right hand rule okay so that is the electric current flowing through the motor whenever the electric current is flowing through the motor whenever the motor is rotates the motor is rotates in the clockwise direction the gate will be open and the motor is Uh, rotates in the anti clockwise direction that means we have to change the polarities of the motor the gate will be closed in by torsa in the manner okay manam e vidhanga ite polarities ni positive negative motor ki vestam so da dwara manaki gate anedi open avutundi ade vidhanga polarities change chesina pudu gate will be closed depending upon the edaithe manam supply isthamo dani base chestina manaki akra gate opening systems closing systems anevi జరుగుతా ఉంటాయి అనమాట నెక్స్ట్ లెట్ గెట్ స్టార్ట్ స్టార్ట్ అయిట్ ఓకే లెట్ స్టార్ట్ అయిట్ ద బిల్డింగ్ అవర్ ప్రోటోటైప్ ఆఫ్ ది టుడేస్ టాపిక్ ఓకే ఐ హ్యావ్ మేడ్ మేడ్ ఇట్ విత్ డివిడి ర్యామ్ డ్రైవ్ ట్రే ఓకే సో ఐ హ్యావింగ్ కార్డ్ బోర్డ్ బాక్స్ అండ్ పెన్సిల్ రోలర్ నైన్ వోల్ట్ బ్యాటరీ స్విచెస్ అండ్ వైర్స్ అండ్ ఎక్సెట్రా ఫర్ దిస్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ సో మీ నాట్ టు వర్రీ డూ డూ యూ డోంట్ how the dvd ram drive we will make it uh, by using cardboard also uh, in the next slides it will show so okay don't worry uh, uh, next start the building uh, let's take the cardboard box and uh, make a uh, hole in it by by with the help of a scale and a pencil make the hole make the hole in it like this in this way so that is shown in the figure okay next after that so this, this is the this is the hole i made uh, for the box and i insert the dvd ram drive tray uh, back back side of the door okay so if any connections are needed that means uh, after inserting the uh, inserting the tray i will make the connections uh, myself by using the wires and uh, uh, ba battery notches and extra switches and etc okay next after these are the my connections uh, i will giving 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 to this project okay uh, so uh, first first two are the first two images are shows about the project while while we inserting the uh, dvd dvd ram drive here and uh, this is the top view and uh, the, the, this is the bottom view okay uh, next uh, how you how our gate is works let's let's see how it is works okay uh, oh. Go 
don't have don't have wall dvd drive okay don't worry about it we can try you try this on our own way by using cardboard okay uh, a dc motor having 60 rpm and a thread and 15 cm 10 cm piece of cardboard and for the shape of door and uh, 2 cm 15 cm cardboard for uh, square okay next step. next these are the cutting these are the markings and uh, cut, cutting from today's uh, door making okay uh, first and first i mark the door in after that i will cut the cut the portion in it like that i will do the remaining parts also okay next so i will get these part after cutting the uh, after cutting down the uh, cutting down from the cardboard okay next uh after cutting and sticking down i will get get the entrance here like this like this entrance here and this is the shutter this is shutter okay next uh, i will make a hole on it here here i insert the toothpick for understanding uh, but uh, here we insert thread for uh, pulling the door okay uh, actually so by using this toothpick we have to move down the door slide door sliding the door like this like this way so like this way okay next so this is the motor uh, which is used to uh, rotate the shaft of the uh, rotate the shaft of the uh, uh, sheet that means uh, that we prepared na earlier uh, this sheet having a uh, some thread and uh, this thread a thread is connected to the motor the motor will uh, slowly uh, pulling the shutter and shutter will uh, go down slowly here like that okay next did you understand uh, which principle is used in dc motor yes okay how the motor is run next how the rotational motion is converted to the linear motion yes. which type of energy we are converting the which type of energy in this mission okay okay everyone listen carefully so andaru kuda artham chestunnaru kada manam e principle vaadtunnamo so adhe vidhanga motor e vidhanga run avutundi oka rotational motion motion unnatundi mission ni manam linear motion kinda e vidhanga convert chesukogalugutamo mission use chestuni ఓకే అదేవిధంగా ఇక్కడ మనం ఏ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీని ఏ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ కింద కన్వర్షన్ కన్వర్షన్ చేసుకుంటున్నాము ఎస్ ఎల్ఇర్ వి ఆల్రెడీ స్టడీడ్ అబౌట్ ద లా ఆఫ్ కన్జర్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ ప్రిన్సిపల్ యూ నో ఎస్ ఎనర్జీ నేదర్ కెన్ బి డెస్ట్రాయిడ్ అండ్ నేదర్ కెన్ బి క్రియేటెడ్ బట్ ఇట్ కెన్ బి కన్వర్టెడ్ ఇన్ టు ద వన్ ఫామ్ టు ద అనదర్ ఫామ్ అంటే ఎనర్జీని మనం డెస్ట్రాయ్ చేయలేము క్రియేట్ చేయలేము కానీ దాని డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫార్మ్స్ లోకి దాన్ని మనం కన్వర్షన్ చేసుకుని డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్స్ మనం తయారు చేసుకోవచ్చు అదే విధంగా వాటిని మనం యూజ్ చేసుకోవచ్చు అది రియల్ టైమ్ అప్లికేషన్స్ లో వాటిని మనం ప్లేస్ చేసుకోవచ్చు సో దిస్ ఈస్ అవర్ టాపిక్ ఫర్ టుడే ఓకే ఎనీ క్వైరీస్ అండ్ రిటర్న్ ఆస్ ఆన్ ఏటీఎల్ ఆంధ్ర ఎట్ ద రేట్ ఆఫ్ జీమెయిల్ డాట్ కామ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఆల్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ ఫర్ వాల్యుబుల్ ఆపర్చునిటీ ఫర్ గివెన్ మీ ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ Can you go again back from on the third slide? Third slide? Third slide. Okay. 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 Here. Next slide, next slide. How would that work? Rajiv? Yes? Next slide. Next slide. Okay. Okay. Today, Rajiv explained us how a DC motor works. Okay. But are we going to use the DC motor for operating our gate? No. Surely not. DC motor could not hold that, that much of power to slide our gate. Then, what 
we are going to do? We are going to use uh, AC motor. Uh, construction of AC motor is a little bit of different, but if you, if someone is interested to do this as a uh, project for uh, their ATL marathon, just uh, reach us and we can explain them how to uh, construct the circuit around the AC motor to operate it in the same way uh, as we see uh, how uh, Rajiv tried to make uh, of operating a prototype of the uh, automatic gate system. Okay. Uh, then, but the motor operation, uh, the Lorentz law is applicable for both uh, motors. Means, uh, a DC motor is also uh, using same principle to operate, and the AC motor is also using the same principle to operate. Means it is just a uh, just a sport between uh, between current, magnetic flux, and the force applied or force experienced by the conductor. Okay, here in this slide you can see uh, a conductor between two magnets. You, have, you can see two magnets here which have, are having north and south poles. Okay, the magnetic flux, direction of magnetic flux is always from north direct direction towards the south direction. That's why here we uh, we have some arrows which, uh, which shows the direction of magnetic flux. Okay, if we want to... Uh, um, check it with the right hand rule, then we have to keep our right hand rule in this manner, uh, like uh, three fingers are per perpendicular to each other. Okay, then when the, our thumb will displace the uh, direction of current, here the current is flowing from uh, uh, below to upwards from this uh, conductor. Okay, then the index finger is flowing magnetic flux, direction of magnetic flux. Okay, then what middle finger will show? Middle finger will show the di uh, direction of force experienced by the metal conductor. Okay, if in, in such a manner, the conductor will, uh, uh, will experience a force like pulling force towards me because uh, it shows the direction, it is, its direction is towards me. Okay, if I reverse the polarity of the battery of the DC source, then current will flow in opposite manner. Okay, when the current will flow in opposite manner, the direction of uh, force experienced by the conductor is also reversed. And that's why it will go uh, out, uh, outside from uh, me. Okay, uh, the same thing is stated by Lorentz. Uh, he states that a current carrying conductor placed in magnetic field. We have placed this current carrying conductor in the magnetic field. Uh, it experiences a force and that force is called Lorentz force. Okay. It is dependent on polarity of the DC force, whatever we are using. Okay. Next slide, please. Okay. How rotational motion is converted into linear motion? Okay. Uh, why we need to convert rotational motion into linear motion? Uh, when we use our bike, uh, it is rotating in. Uh, is actually uh, doing angular motion. Okay, but we we will move in uh, in a straight line in forward direction. Okay, that means we are converting a rotational motion into a linear motion. Okay, the same uh, in the same manner, rack and pinion. The here the uh, second figure uh, shows the mechanism of rack and pinion, where a wheel like a gear is uh, sliding along a rack. Means uh, it is a flat gear. Okay. Uh, it is used in some uh, uh, somewhat uh, gates operation where they want to slide the gates for some distance. Then they they will use uh, rack and pinion method. Uh, you can see you have seen in many factories they use a uh, conveyor belt to transport material from one place to another. Then here also they are converting rot rotational motion into linear motion. Okay, uh, how? Because the motor they are uh, uh, keeping uh, to rotate the pulleys in between, they are going to rotate by motors. So, motor cannot produce the linear motion. Motor will produce angular motion. Okay, this angular motion will be converted into linear motion because we our uh, desired motion is linear motion. We have to carry some material from one place to another. That's why we have uh, converted this angular motion into linear motion. When we have seen this conversion, we have seen this conversion in 3D printer. At your ATL labs, 
you can see there are multiple uh, there are printer and multiple motors are uh, installed oh. over there okay uh, there are uh, for x axis there will be a motor for y axis there will be motor and for z axis there will be a motor this motor can rotate uh, can rotate they cannot produce a linear motion okay that's why we use a belt okay, that is called as timer belt which will convert its uh, rotational motion or we can say angular motion into linear motion okay uh, next slide i have is motors and mechanisms we cannot use only motor to operate a gate we cannot use only mechanism to operate a gate okay we can build a mechanism and uh, implement a motor inside that mechanism to, to make it automate automatic because sometimes our gate is got uh, stuck somewhere it got rusted or it was it it will have lack of oil oiling so it will get stuck somewhere uh, and uh, pushing or pulling the gate becomes a very uh, tedious job so what we will do we will implement a motor uh, for the purpose and uh, it will rotate by its own and produce the required motion we don't have to pull or push the uh, gate we just have to press a switch and after pressing a switch we can just move the gate okay uh, when we give supply to a motor it will start rotating but if we reverse the polar polarity of the battery then it will change the direction of rotation okay uh, means we can take a uh, gate from uh, uh, open position to the closed position but then if we want to open the gate then uh, it is not needed that we should uh, rotate the motor in the same direction we should rotate it in the opposite direction in motor in opposite direction what we have to do according to lorenz and according to our experience it is uh, we know that if we uh, reverse the polarity of the battery then motor will turn uh, anti clockwise or uh, in the reverse direction whatever it was previously doing. okay then uh, after the motor uh, polarity of motor is changed and the uh, its rotation and the it changed the gate system will be get open okay in this way we are going to design our activity today uh, next slide please rajan let's start building what are the components we will make this entire thing this is actually a prototype of the gate. What are the things we are needed to make this prototype? We are needed cardboard pieces, pencil, ruler, old DVD or rack tray, uh, switches, switches we will plan, manual batteries and wires as per uh, the name means you have some wires. Uh, uh, don't worry if you don't have if you don't have old DVD RAM uh, drive or uh, its cabinet, you can find it almost uh, in any garbage shop. Okay. If you don't have it, uh, we are going to explain you how you can make uh, something uh, like to at your home. Uh, so you, you don't need to get that uh, RAM or uh, old DVD or RAM box. Okay. Let's start building. What we will need? We will need a box. Okay. And uh, we will need to cut off uh, a section of it uh, like it is a door. Many of you may have worked on the, some forts or something like this. Okay, uh, what you will do? You have some door for the uh, opening of that fort. So we have cut it off the, that door. Now we have to stick that DVD drive and tray, uh, tray back side of the door. Off. Okay. How we are going to stick it? We are going to stick it in such a way it will uh, when it will be closed, it will open the gate, and when it will be opened, it will close the gate. How we are going to see in this video? Uh, can you play that video? Yeah. When the gate is uh, closed, no, the DVD is actually open, and when it will get uh, open, the gate will be actually closed. In such a way, you have to place, uh, do the placement of the gate. Uh, next slide, please, Raju. <clears throat> oh, if you don't have old DVD drive, and don't worry, you can try this. What we required? We required a DC motor with 60 RPM, a thread, 
that 60 rpm motor is actually found at your lab uh, very much easily i will show you a picture of that motor <laughs> and a thread by using the thread we are going to convert linear uh, angular motion into linear motion then we require 15 cm by 10 cm piece of cardboard in shape of door okay that is uh, the first piece of uh, diagram you can see that is 15 cm by 10 cm piece of cardboard which is which we are going to use as door okay and uh, in second diagram you can you can see there is 15 cm by 15 cm uh, a square which is actually cut in the shape of u you need this because you have to Uh, make uh, some uh, make a gate. We will require this. I will show you uh, how in how what in how much uh, what manner we are going to connect these things. Okay, uh, you have to draw some uh, drawings on the cardboard according to the, the given dimension on the last side. Okay, and then cut the square, cut the U from the cardboard, and we will get a square. Okay. And next slide, please, Rajiv. Okay. The first image you can see what are the components you will be having. Okay. You will be having three views. Actually, uh, two of them will be similar. One is quite a uh, little bit of uh, uh, different, and fourth one is square, which uh, I should sorry, rectangle, which is actually we are using as uh, as a door. Okay. Now what we are going to do? We are going to uh, apply the glue on the uh, small U and paste it on the bigger U. So we will get uh, a picture like uh, second, okay, that like second image. In the third image, we are placing our third U, which is bigger one, okay. and then we will uh, get uh, we'll, uh, we can make our uh, structure for the game. Uh, Rajiv, can you show that structure without a, a door? Ah, huh, that, that thing. The same thing you have to make. You have to. You can open and uh, you can slide it in between, so you can uh, get the feel of uh, door opening and close. Okay. Next slide, please, Rajiv. Okay. Now you are we are going to take the low speed motor. We require low speed and high torque motor because it is heavy thing. We don't need to uh, run very fastly. We need to run it smoothly and slowly. Okay. What do we for that we are taking a low speed motor and tying it with the shaft of motor. I show you the figure. We are tying a thread with the shaft of motor. Okay. Actually, what is going to happen here when the motor will rotate? When the motor will rotate, it will uh, the thread will get bended around uh, its shaft, and that's why the part of the um, thread is going to come uh, going to move the linear motion. Similarly, when we uh, rotate the motor in opposite way, what is going to happen? It will be unbending the uh, thread, and that's why it will going to come back. Okay, that's why we are going to use this motor and this thread to create a circuit uh, to convert the circular motion into Linear motion. Okay. The next slide is ready. Okay. With this activity, you can make the gate and or make the prototype of the gate very easily. Okay. But what are the understanding you should have uh, after uh, tinkering with this motor? Which is the principle used in DC motor? This is actually in your syllabus, right? Uh, Like uh, Lorentz principle, how the current will be, uh, how the when, uh, which direction current will be flowing, and uh, what are the intensity of magnetic field, which describe how much force will be generated and how much torque uh, the motor can hold. Okay, how the motor runs? Motor runs on the basis of Lorentz law. Okay. How uh, rotational motion is converted into linear motion, and it is why it is necessary. That we have understood. Here, which type of energy we are converting into which type of energy in this machine? Okay. We are converting electrical energy into mechanical energy to do some mechanical work. In previous session, we have uh, we have introduced to you a, a law of conservation of energy. 
which state that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can be converted from one form to another form. Okay, here we are using a motor to consume electrical energy and deliver mechanical energy. There, surely there will be some losses uh, as per the uh, law of conservation of energy. We are able to convert one energy, one form of energy into another form of energy. Uh, then uh, that's it for today's session. Okay. Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, UNICEF. Thank you, Samagrasha. Thank you, uh, Andhra uh, Pradesh government and SDF to uh, deliver us uh, this activity. Over to you, uh, Ismail sir.